He is one of our new sports star. He is the new WBA heavyweight champion of the world. I'm going to ask my new best friend, Gerard, to introduce him for me, if you would, Gerard. This is David Hay! Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. World champion. What a nice thing to hear. I, I know. know. It's crazy. Heavyweight champion. WBA champion champion world the champion. I know. It's crazy. Wow. And uh, the right hand, we should explain, is bandaged because that happened during the fight, didn't it? Yeah, second round off his big melon head after a big right hand. <laughs> and he's got that, he's got that disease. David, you beat him already. You don't have to no, start no, no, calling him no, a melon no, head no, now. The reason why it broke was he's got... I just found out yesterday thick, that... Thick the, the disease that got... The, the disease the guy's got because to make him so big... His, his, his skull is about an inch I thick. think he's, yeah, acromagallic or something. Yeah, something like, like that. Acromagally or something I remember like that. thinking when I was hitting him, I, was, I said it was like hitting a brick wall. And so, that's he really was, so, OK, we should explain. He was known... He had various nicknames, didn't he? He was the, the beast. beast from the East. Beast from the East. The, the giant eighth, Russian. The eighth wonder of the world. The giant bear. Giant bear. Big Biggie. Big... <laughs> um, I, I made that one up. Yeah, I know, um, I know that one. OK, and there you are in action. Man, and that's... A, how, how much taller uh, than you was it he? Was 11, he was 11 inches. 11 inches. And so seven you... stone heavier. <sighs> It's a big guy. I know, I know. I knew, I knew I was up against it. You know, he'd had like 51 fights. Uh, he'd only lost one of those on points. He'd never been hurt, never been knocked down. So I had to do something that well, I'd never done before. It's hard enough to reach him. I imagine I know, you're reaching was... up there just to get above the belt. <laughs> I'm assuming <laughs> it's hard not to hit below the I know, belt I'd, and I'd get a foul. I had to worry about the, the low blows because yeah. a shot where I'd normally hit someone in the body, that'd be hitting right up the cobblers. Right, yeah. yeah. And we can't, and I, I couldn't do that. <laughs> right up the cobblers. There you go. <laughs> Um, uh, did you, were you scared at all, did you think? Because obviously it's a, an unusual fight to be in. Mm. It's a, a necessary stepping stone for you, but at the same time it's not a regular opponent. No fear whatsoever. I just had to focus so much on strategy for this fight. You know, what he looked like, what he appeared to be was irrelevant. You know, I just had to stick to my game plan, go out there and just try to ignore the fact that he was a giant. And the game plan was what? <laughs> Keep away from... Stay away from him, land my shots and just don't get hit by him. Because presumably, <laughs> well, that sounds like common sense. I know, so, but a lot of people, when they, when they try to fight him, they think, OK, I'm hitting him, he lets you hit you a little bit. So yeah. they think, OK, I'm hitting him, hitting so him. get and in there. And then, next thing you know, they're in there, and next thing you know, he's clobbering him to the floor. And I guess uh, a man of that size with that weight, if he connects, that's the, you know that's the problem it. So, right there. To 23 stone or whatever he weighs, you, you get some of that big punch in the head. Did, you know he, did he land any good ones on I you? He yeah, landed a couple of shots on me, but, you know, I had to, tuck, had to suck it up and get yeah. through it. Uh, now that you you broke you actually broke yeah, on his fingers uh, or the, uh, the knuckles metacarp metacarpal on his um, they're the ones that they are yeah they? okay on his skull itself it wasn't actually was... skull it was his jaw Whoa. it was his jaw so I sort of I slung it I slung it over the top not with a shot that would not ordinarily knock someone completely unconscious yeah but it just broke my hand well you tempted it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, and that's the segment. So then you and, and uh, you know you, anyone who's broken a bone, they know especially in the hand, it really hurts and it can. It does. To it hurt. does. In ordinary. If you if I put my hand down there and you you broke it, yeah, I'd probably cry like a girl. But when you're when you're in a fight situation, when your adrenaline's pumping, you're in a whole of Britain are watching you, you can't complain about pain. Were you at any stage? Were you tempted at all to try the uh, trick of actually going and running between his legs and coming? I thought, and <laughs> Charlie Chaplin, you. I thought, I thought about it, but um, <laughs> I don't think the referee out there in Germany would let that go. go uh, and it was. It was out in Germany, and I believe the German crowds. They're quite quiet compared to British. They're boxing very fans, quiet, but we had a load of load of British. About five thousand Brits went over there to shout them down. Good support. And let and let them and let them. Know. It felt like I was fighting in London. It yeah, truly, yeah. I was expecting to get heckled, stuff people throwing fruit at me and. Get some real good, uh, some abuse. Because I've been giving him so much verbal for the well, fight. Well, here's the thing I was asking, because I know you, and that seems to be part of the game and always yeah. has been, certainly since the late 60s. Mm -hmm. I guess Ali was the first one I was aware of. Yeah, he was, the, he was one of the first guys to go out there and really do the kind of trash talking. Talk, really, trash yeah. talking, yeah, I love it. Uh, trash talk. And you were doing this with him, you were saying things about him. Ha hairy, obviously, he's a big hairy fella, so I was calling him hairy, he stinks, so I was saying, you know, mm. all the. All the usual stuff yeah. he'd say about his sort ugly of and playground stuff. Really. Playground kids, okay. kids, nothing clever. Do you get no any way. feedback though? Uh, does anyone uh, say to your friends or anything? Say you know you shouldn't do that. Yeah, mum says it. Mum says it. Well, mum. My mum. Your mum was all unimpressed by that stuff. What did stuff. she say? She's like, you got to conduct yourself like a gentleman. Mm. I'm like, well, it's this hype. You got to do it for the fight. She's like, no, she's not, not impressed yeah. one bit. Yeah. <laughs> but then you're going in facting a guy who's about 12 foot tall. Exactly. So, uh, <laughs> exactly. She, does she watch your box? Yeah, she does. She comes to all the fights. She wasn't out for this one, but she watched it at home. She must be. It must be kind of tricky. I mean, she must have faith in you, but at the same time, it's awkward to see. Yeah, that definitely. Going on. You got to remember, she's been, I've been competing since I was 10 years old, so she's used to me as a baby doing it. So yeah. now she knows I'm the best in the world. Yeah. You know, she, she, she always gets nervous, obviously, but 
you know, seen a, seen a, seen a baby fighting some big hairy giant like that. Did you, so that, that's when you started, and you wanted to box? That's you, it, from you enjoyed day, doing yeah, it? From as, from, as, uh, from as old as I could walk around, I was punching people, and the, my thing was just punching. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's all I ever did. And uh, it was pretty obvious I was going to be a boxer. I was born with a black eye. <laughs> yeah. Born with a black eye, my fist clenched. You were really born ugly with a black bastard. eye? Yeah. How before, were you born with a black the, eye? The, the, the only thing that clamp you up to drag you out, it caught on my face, <laughs> and it uh, pulled me out, and my face is all mangled. Oh. So uh, there's well, like, you, you know what? You've got over it because you're a good-looking uh, fella, it has to be said. Thank you very much. That's OK. <laughs> uh, in between bouts, in, not yeah. bouts, but in between the kind of one that goes to the next, do you have, like, a month off where you can cut loose and be Hell like yeah, a regular guy of your age would be? Without a doubt, without a doubt. You have to, you have, to have that. You, you, when I'm in training, that's it. No yeah. fat whatsoever goes in my mouth. I don't ejaculate. I don't... Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Michael. <laughs> when you're... Why have you gone from that to me? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going with this, Ross? <laughs> when you're getting ready for a big gig like Wembley... Yes. <laughs> yeah. Do you abstain from, from anything at all? Um, it, it's not through choice, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, I do, but it's, it's more my wife, um, exhaustion. <laughs> she said to you, yeah. don't mess it up. Sometimes I <laughs> try and she just turns to me and goes, you don't want sex, do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, David, thank, thanks for uh, letting us into the whole regime of training and so on and so forth. Um, who is uh, your next opponent? Where do you go next week? Because you've got one belt, but there are yeah. a number of belts. Yeah. You've got the WBA. I've got WBA. There's WBO, I believe. WBO, WBC IBF, and IBF. And there's a Ring magazine have one. They've introduced yeah. as well. So there's quite a few out there. Mm. Many of them are held by uh, two brothers, aren't they? Yeah, the Klitschko brothers, Vitaly and Vladimir, they hold the IBF, WBO and uh, WBC. So between them, they hold all these uh, more or less. So exactly. if you were to beat both of them, then you would unify be all the... the undisputed unified... And that hasn't happened for years, has it? I think Lennox Lewis is the last person to do that, oh. but it's so hard hard to keep hold of them because it's really complicated. You have to fight on you, all the challenges and they exactly. have a... Exactly, it gets messy, but, you know, so once I've you have those guys in your sights, so you Yeah, have... definitely, definitely. Next, the next fight's going to be a guy called John Rears, a guy from, uh, uh, from America. Big He's the guy big. who was next in line to fight the Russian and yeah. he had to step aside, didn't he? step aside because this fight was a much bigger one. You owe him a fight. He doesn't look particularly happy either, to be honest with you. I know, uh... He looks like he's been holding it in for longer than I just know, for training. I know, I know. It's not for training. It's definitely, I'll, this, I'll definitely be honest with you, I think he sleeps in those gloves, that one. Yeah, he's uh, he's <laughs> had them on since he was 12. He's a, he's a mean dude and he reckons he's going to smash me to pieces. Well, he, he's going to say that. You know what, though, you are, I suspect, the better boxer. You're certainly uh, a much better guest for me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, congratulations. I'm delighted. It's exciting because right. I'm a bit of a boxing fan. Uh, I've kind of lost touch with the game. I'm going to get back into it now because it's Good so stuff. exciting to see uh, a British champion, a world champion. Mr David Hay, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, David. Let's do that now. Okay. Great stuff. Thank you. David Hayes. Good work.